A new era in combat sports has arrived. Damn. The first group of trailblazers must survive living together and training together as they face off in a brutal gauntlet of fights with everything on the line. A world ranking, a spot in the first ever pay-per-view event, and ultimately, a power slap world title. This is the opportunity of a lifetime. Last week, Azael's drunken antics caused tempers to flare at the house. I gave the Come on. Come on, bro. Get the out of my face, though. Let me eat my food. Let him stand up. Let him stand up. Then, in an electrifying start to the competition, John, three warriors rose up and secured their first official wins. Yeah! Let's eat! Now, the action heats up as six more strikers take to the stage to face off in the biggest fights of their lives. Mixed martial artist turned slap fighter Jesse Nutting. I do hard hate to go down. Boom! Tries to knock off number one ranked middleweight Wesley Dre. We'll see you when you wake up. Let's go! Kid Diamond Jewel Scott. You in for a rude awakening, bitch boy. Takes on heavy handed New Yorker Andrew Provost. I'm gonna shut you up. And then powers collide as AJ Static hits. I'm out there, you can see a completely different person. Faces Hawaiian Russell Rivero. Gotta put you to sleep, homie. Who has got what it takes to continue on their quest for the power slap belt? Oh. Holy oh. Wesley Drain versus Jesse Nutting. As we keep seeing in a lot of these fights, winning the coin toss is huge. It gives such an advantage in this sport to be able to strike first. Wes, Blue, Jesse Ray. Especially in this next matchup, with Jesse Nutting trying to take out the number one ranked middleweight, Wesley Drain, if he wins this coin toss, he could pull off the upset in one slap. It's Blue. Strike first. Yeah, yeah. Let's go. Jesse Nutting came into the competition as an alternate. The guy's a little out there, but he's a former MMA fighter. He's got a solid slap. At our combine, his neck force tested high. This guy can definitely take a shot. The little bit advantage that Jesse Nutting has is the MMA fights. All the testing of his chin that he's been through, that's definitely going to be his difference here. 183 and a half. Whoa! When it comes to having to take that impact, Wesley, I don't think he has the toughness. 184 and a half. Yeah! 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 We ranked Wesley Drain number one amongst the middleweights because in his exhibition fight against John Kennedy, he was able to take a shot, overcome a swollen cheek the size of a grapefruit, and then knock him out. That was probably the grittiest performance I saw that day, and this should be a great fight. I'm excited to see this one. I know Jesse's got a lot of hype, and Wes is coming off of a win back in March. So I'm excited to see Wes get another win. <laughs> he means business. Stadium, go up, I'm the right one. I bring intensity when I come. I'm there for one thing and one thing only to see you laying on the floor, Jesse Nutting. Play for chips, put the team on my back, I was made for this. Yeah. So time, 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 so time. I like to have all eyes on me anyways. I'm an entertainer, and what's the best way to entertain by being number one? So time, so time. If you knock me down, I'm going to jump back up.
Jesse doesn't seem to know what's coming. I'm gonna look into his soul and devour it. When I'm in the zone, I'm a killer. And I'm number one like I knew I would. I'm gonna knock your ass out, Jesse. We'll see you when you wake up, bud. Let's go. Wesley Drain has an okay hit at best, but I don't have a glass jaw, so I ain't going down from no hit. You never faced anybody like me. I'm too hard-headed to go down. Ooh. Gentlemen, to the table. Top of the first round. Blue is going left hand on two. Start the clock. Say That's nothing. One. Woo! Let's go! You all right, you okay? Yeah. All right. Go time, baby. What hand do you want to do? Left two. Left two? Left on two. There you go, solid. There you go. Oh, yeah. Fair blow. You good? Recover? Recover, blue. Bro, that's on his eye. Oh, that's in. Yeah, that's on his eye. <laughs> what do you want to do? Left hand on two? Left hand on two. Top of the second. Strong base. There you go. There you go. Good hit, man. Good hit. Good hit. Good hit. Good hit. Good hit. Good hit. Yeah. Good? Okay. Yeah. Recovered? Yeah. All right. Recovered. Left hand. Bottom of the second. Left hand on two. You're good. You got 30 seconds. That's what I'm talking you about. You good? Come on, Way better. Baby. Way better. Right. Why don't you get back in get the box? Get in the box. Good, get in the box. Solid base. You got Recovered. It. Top of the third. Left hand on two, blue. Ain't got Measure. nothing for you. One. Foul. That's oh, a foul striker. Here, time. Club. Foul. I don't know what's going on with Wesley, that, but he looks so off. He hit left-handed and he's not, he's right-handed. He said he might be hurt or something. That makes sense why he clubbed. Top, bottom of the third, left hand on two. Measure. There you go. He made it look like he tried. You good? Oh, yeah. Recover, end the match. Yeah, way to win the fight, Jesse. Way to win the fight. I thought Wes had that match all the way, and then I guess he decided to use his left hand out of nowhere. He only had one club called against him, but Jesse clubbed him as well in the first round, and the ref didn't call. I mean, you could clearly see the chalk in his eye. It was a tough loss to watch. I mean, he did everything great. It's just I think he would have had more power and probably actually won if he used his right hand. I just felt like I was stronger in my left hand. The way, the way I see it, a well-rounded fighter, not just this, but you need to be able to alternate and do both well. I got clubbed twice. They didn't call the first one, but, I mean, I didn't feel nothing. We have a winner by unanimous decision. Red corner. Yes, sir! Jesse came in firing hot. He showed out, you know, he did what he was supposed to do, and um, he's undefeated when it comes to power slap, so hats off to him. Thought for sure that it was gonna be a win, probably in the first or second round after watching his previous matches. For some reason, Wesley Drain, who's right-handed, decided to fight this fight, the biggest fight of his life so far, left-handed. I don't know why. Maybe he was cocky because he was ranked number one, but he ends up losing. These guys need to realize your power slap ranking is not guaranteed. It can change. And you don't win brownie points by getting cute. If you don't perform well and win, 
It costs you. And now Jesse Nutting gets the victory in his first match. Yo, Wes, I love you, brother. I just beat number one. I am number one. Everybody else has to look up to me. No, It was an entertaining fight. People are in the house now. We're all hyped up. We got the slate rolling in, the howler head. I mean, everything's flowing in this house. Reed, you wouldn't go to TJ with me, bro? Not in the same car, no. I would meet you there with a group of other people, no. for sure. <laughs> As I got drunk and was acting a fool. Oh, I got you, bro. I mean, got really confident. And unfortunately, this is not one of those houses you want to be confident and acting a fool in. <laughs> I just think that Russell is someone that, now that he knows me, it's a little bit easier to mess around with him. <laughs> Grab him around. Let's spar, bro. Let's spar with some gloves. No, no wrestling, bro. He's been doing a little bit of this and that, and we just been testing each other out. And... Careful. Oh. Doing it to the wrong guy, killer. You need to smash. Time. All right, that's enough. All right. I see like I'm dating him, brother. All right, all right. If you can't recognize the type of energy that I'm. Well, he's good. No, because you give him like negative. Mixed signals. Yeah, you're giving him mixed signals. Yeah, him mixed signals. Consistent. I'll try to be mellow. You know, try to let slide, but people get little man syndrome. Think they gotta prove themselves. In Hawaii, though, we don't play. You talk like that because you're gonna bang. If Russell were to hit him one time, it would be not good. Hey, keep him out the house, bro. I was like, what the f? Bro. Just let it happen. Let it happen. So that way it's done and over with. You can't act stupid like that and expect nobody to do nothing. Said something to Wes or did something to Wes and riled up Wes's feathers and uh, from there all hell broke loose. Hey, 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 <laughs> Blew my whole lip off my face. I got the urge to just choke them, honestly, but I never, never tightened it or anything. I just kind of held on to him. Let the producers deal with him. Let's go. Yeah. Shut the up. <laughs> we still got a lot of days, man. I think some more is gonna pop off. <laughs> Boy. So I got a call late last night, which is never good, saying that the fighters got completely out of control at the house. Our production team tells me that things got so bad that they actually had to stop filming to keep the peace. Obviously, that's completely unacceptable. So first thing this morning, I called both teams to the training center to put an end to this madness. How was your evening? Uh, let me start with this. You guys have a huge opportunity in front of you right now. If you want to get belligerently drunk and act like <laughs> do it when you get home. You guys want to have a few drinks, hang out, have a good time, take the edge off, take some of the stress out of it, have a couple <laughs> drinks. And if you're a bad drinker, and I think half this <laughs> place here is a bunch of bad drinkers, have none. Get <laughs> all jacked up on some monster or something. If a guy gets too <laughs> drunk, try to take care of the guy. Don't try to hurt him. Mitchell's gone. He's gone. He's not going to continue. During the melee last night, apparently, Mitchell Sipes started getting so out of control and became a safety risk, not, not just to the other fighters, but to the production crew. So I, I had no choice but to get rid of him. We, we, can't, we can't put up with this kind of I've been in the tough guy business for 30 years. We say mean to each other. It's, 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 it's whatever. It's part of the sport. You don't have to like each other. You're gonna compete against each other, but let's just show everybody some respect. The beautiful thing about this thing is, you get to slap the out of all people you don't like, all right? 
We want you guys to feel safe. We want you to feel comfortable. And more importantly, we want you to succeed, okay? We want this thing to be big for everybody. We want all of you to win. We want you all to win. Have a good day. Thank you, guys. Good, you brought up just, you, I know, I know. If he helps, right before you strike, bring your toes up. I'm a bad yeah. This isn't an ego talking. This is hard, endless, hourless training talking. This is sacrifice talking. This is blood, sweat, and tears talking. Man, I'm, I'm on a completely different level. Roughly, it takes 30-something hours per week to be a professional athlete. 30-something. I'm probably north of that. I want to hear it! The other team's not working this hard. Let's go! You don't have to work for them. They're not working this hard. They're not working this hard. They don't want it like you do. Let's go! My next fight. Andrew, this guy has no idea. He's awakened something in me that, I got, bro, I got on a hoodie. I got goosebumps running through my body right now. This dude's not ready for me, bro. I, this is this not a game. I'm not trying something out. This is my game. This was made for me. My body type, my training regimen, my style. Good. And I got this clown pretending like you, like you're some kind of big fighter from New York and blah, blah, blah. Bro, I'm from the streets of New Orleans, bro. Okay. I'm a monster. I'm prepared to lose this hand in his face. After eight months of training and grinding and dieting and skills training, I will not lose. I'm looking to finish him, and I'm looking to finish him bad. Andrew, you in for a rude awakening, bitch boy. You get smashed. A hitter can work on not twisting their feet. I'm just still concentrating on the technical aspect, you know, them not stepping and them not clubbing and just keeping it clean pretty much. Zeus, you got this, man. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I thought you look at him. I'm here to kick ass, crack skulls. You know, kill or be killed. If you're at 170, you're on my list. Look out. Yeah. Now watch the, watch the heel, yeah. So I guess I'm matched up with Jewel. He's loud. As soon as he saw that we were matched up, he wanted to start talking tough. I guess I lived rent free in his head. It sounds much more crisp if you come in with a flat hand. Yeah, it can be up there, or it can be, you know, if you turn, you know, it can be like this. I know I could take a shot, and I know I could give one, so I'm here. I'm going to knock him out. That's my plan. There you go. That was a lot better, bud. Are you going to pee? Not better? Yeah. 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 He thinks he's going to shake me. I, he can't shake me. He's a bully, honestly, you know? And you know, bullies get what they deserve eventually. I'm not scared, nobody here is scared, especially of him. Listen, little man, you could talk tough all you want around the house, but I'm gonna shut you up. Everybody's, not everybody, but most people so scared to go down. Oh, I'm going down. No, it's about getting down. back up. It's inevitable. Yeah, it's inevitable. You're going down. You're going to go down. You're going down. Yeah, just if you go you get, gotta up. get up. You gotta get up. You gotta get up and you gotta stay in your ground and you gotta Fire back. And, and I, I, I got more. I, I like that. Get like, the up and fire back. You're right. Uh, I miss my babies. I miss my woman. That's all I really have. Uh, I've sacrificed everything to have them. That's why I'm just going to focus on my daughter, man, and just make that my motivation to win. That's what we do it for. It's all for my babies. It's all for my babies. My kids see me hurt. They see me get tired sometimes. But I don't stop. 
So me being here is everything to me. It's everything that is. I am Jewel Scott. I'm from New Orleans, Louisiana, from Slap Your Ass University. Home sweet home, you heard me? My oldest kid, he actually injures me sometimes. Uh, we're roughly the same size most of the time, uh, except for he's 16. <laughs> My youngest son, he's playing multiple sports right now. He's a football guy, baseball guy. We got him in swimming now. We got the oysters draining right now so we can get that little. That little oyster drip off of there. Uh, in the middle is my future wife, Andrea Champagne. Uh, the love of my life. Go time in the house. Uh, all the you see me do in the house, the cooking, the cleaning, that helps me keep everything in perspective of what I'm actually supposed to be doing. I'm a homebody, I'm a family man, and that's what I love, bro. That's the absolute most rewarding thing that I've ever experienced. Uh, hands down. At welterweight, Andrew Provost versus Jewel Scott. First match. Jewel and Andrew are fighting, and from what I've been hearing, Andrew's already been barking a little bit at Jewel. Jewel, you're red. Andrew, you're blue. That's not going to bother Jewel at all. Jewel's heard it all of his life. Red. Slap first. All right, Andrew on the scale. It's nothing new to him. Joe's gonna back it up in the fight like he always has. When he needs to turn it on, it is on. One, seven, two, one. I lost the coin toss, and uh, in this sport, it's a huge deal, you know? You know, you lose the coin toss, and you can't move, you can't block, you can't roll. You know, it's in God's hands, really. Go, go. Joe's just gonna mop the floor with this guy. There's a clear winner here. 167 and a half. Let's go! Yeah. Get it, man. Get up in there, Joel. Better, better. Jewel was one of my first picks to go straight into the house. He's got great technique. He's got a ton of heart, which is why we ranked him in the top three in the welterweight division. Andrew is a bit of an unknown, so I'm looking forward to seeing what he brings to the table, and let's see if he can pull off the upset. I'm sending your ass in out of space, bro. I'm trying out of fight. I ain't trying, bro. That's what I do. You're all mouth. It's the reason I'm number one and you last. You're all they want mouth. you out of here first. That's why they put you against me. Uh, okay. Sleep time. Night quill. Night quill. They got my book on here so I can read to your ass. Cause you, you gonna laugh. sleep good. You gonna sleep good. Keep smiling. Yeah, a lot of people are real quiet and trying to stay away from each other. I guess for this this little man that I'm going against, he he he, he feels like he has to start talking. He's got jokes. I'll give you that. Jokes. <laughs> I deliver. I deliver. I'm gonna beat the out of you, son. I don't need to say anything. You know, we'll we'll get a chance to to have a slap match. He knows that he ain't got an overall skill set. He just has a big mouth. I'm going to teach you, boy. Y'all going to teach you more than the cop, because I'm the best pussy. I'm going to knock you the out. Yeah, I'm going to knock you the out and cash my check. You think this is? I came from nothing. You know, I grew up poor, I grew up tough, so I think everybody should be rooting for me because I'm a success story, and you know, if I can get here, that means you could do anything you want if you set your mind to it. Got this, Andrew, just stay calm. Keep the fouls down, you're good, man. You got this, you can eat them. I've never been KO'd, so we'll see what happens. You know, I'm here to, I'm here to win, I'm here to kill or be killed. This guy has no idea. He's no idea. He's psyching himself up. Hey, nothing's given to me, bro. Everything that I got, I have to take it. I have to work my fingers to the bone to get it, bro. I'm a professional. He's the bitch.
I want this belt badly. Like it's a, it's gonna be the biggest belt for my collection with Dana White behind it and all the money. So that's why I'm here. I'm here to win. Good luck, sir. Listen, little man, you can run your mouth around the house all you want, but when it's time to be in the arena, we're gonna find out. Let's go! Let's go! Bro, I'm looking to take your head off. Most people never see me train. Most people don't know the hours that I put in. Only the people in my house, because I'm not there. Eight months of training just for this. There's no human that could survive an unobstructed shot from NyQuil. Stay set. Okay, hand and number. Right on three. Right on three, we're going right on three. Please start the clock. Okay, round one, slap one. I will count them off for you, okay? Measure first, please. That's your measure. One, two. Go! Yeah! Oh, yeah. We go. go! You have 15 seconds. Let me know when you're recovered. I'm good. good. Recovered. Hand and number, please. Right three. Right three. This is round one, slap two. I'll measure. OK, I'll count them off for you. One, two, three. Okay, that was red flinching. It is a warning. There will no be no point taken. Okay. okay. Move in. Right three. Right three. Start the clock, please. Okay. You must measure. Okay. That's your measure. One. Two. There you go. Yes. Oh, we go. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Wow. There you go. There you go. Let me know when you're recovered, please. That was a clean hit, man. That was, he's already got a warning on him, so you're good, man. You're good. Just make sure you eat them all. You got it. Hurt my hand. Huh? Hurt my hand. You hurt your hand? Yeah. Oh, bad. Boy. It hurts. Or if you need to pull, then I can't. What do I do? How bad well, is it? Well, I can already see it. Yeah. You want me to stop it? Mm -hmm. No, hey, we're going to call it. Okay. Yeah, we got a hand. Yep. Fully recovered. Let's go. Let's go. Yep, yeah, we're going to call it. Right hand on three. Hold on. Oh, I'm sorry. Due to an injury, blue cannot continue. That's the match. I felt, I think I felt it, bro. Okay. No, dude. Hey, no, it's all good. No, Great job. Good, good sportsmanship. I, 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 I felt it, bro. Great job. So when Jewel flinched in the first round, everyone kind of does it. It's a very new thing, and not a lot of people can really understand what it's like to just let someone open hand smack you as hard as they can. I think the fact that Andrew broke his hand on Jules' face, I think that's pretty impressive. I guess they said it ended up breaking right there below the thumb. I mentioned about using the left, but I don't think he was sure at the time, so I ended up throwing the towel in for him. I think it would have went all three rounds had the hand not, you know, got busted. Winner by injury default, Jewel Scott. I broke it on, I think I broke it on that first hit.
I got the second hit. He flinched. I hit his head. My hand hurt. And then I was able to get a second foul hit. And once I hit him, like, my hand, like, it blew up like a balloon. Uh, I wasn't able to show anything, and I'm kind of pissed, like, honestly. Especially if, because he flinched, and if I broke my hand on hitting his head, like, you know what I mean? I feel like I kind of got screwed. It just so happened he broke his hand on my hard head. <laughs> so some people just meant for this. <laughs> I'm going to get that belt. I'm going to defend it as many times as I can. Uh, and sky's the limit from there. Jewel Scott versus Andrew Provost was a weird fight. At first, Jewel gets called for flinching. Then Andrew gets another slap and ends up breaking his hand on Jewel's face. The guy has a chance to knock off the number three ranked welterweight in the competition, but, you know, he gets dealt some bad luck. So Jewel earns his first win, and Andrew may have a future in slap fighting, but for now, he's out of the competition. I thought he was going to sleep. Damn, bro. Who did they get you? Right. AJ. AJ who? Hicks, was that static? Really? I didn't know that. My guy fighting is the boy AJ. Pretty sure I'm going to slap the f out of this guy. You know? It doesn't look like anything special to me. And I feel like I'm going to run through him. So. I always had people doubt me growing up because of how I act. I was real hot head. He tell me, you know, I, I like to find out why he telling me what. You know what I mean? It's because a lot of that I did, like, it's not that I regret it, but I know I could have been better, you know? I like my daughter be like the best instead of going to I went to. And that's why I try to give my daughter and everything I can, you know, because I'm not with her all the time. Me and my ex broke up back home in Hawaii, and she's from Texas. So she ended up leaving me with my daughter. I took my daughter, and um, there's no way I was going to not be in my daughter's life. So I made my way to Texas. When they left, it was hot. You know what I mean? Hey, but you made it happen, bro. Yeah, be next to my daughter. You're bro. someone that and I, I look up to, dog. Like, you were. Yeah. Not everything you do is for your kids. That's why yeah. I told you, but you gotta realize what you're doing. You're affecting your family. Yeah. yeah. No, I appreciate yeah. the the wise words you've you've told me, man. Life growing up in Hawaii is um. Everybody thinks Hawaii is beautiful. It is beautiful. A lot of the guys that fight, we all grow up in uh in like rough neighborhoods back home. I got like uh, arrested a lot growing up. Yeah. yeah man, doing big things, baby. Doing big things. The bit about my home life is work. I'm a electrician back in Texas. Hello, today in Canada. Hello, Amaya. I'm telling you if we do enjoy it My daughter and my wife on my mind constant every day from the morning I wake up to when I go to bed. It's the reason why I'm here. Give me a kiss. Bye. I didn't really put any type of respect on slap fighting until I came out here, you know what I mean? And, it <laughs> yeah. and I was like, oh, okay, so like some of these are like really about to take your head off, you know what I mean? So like, I know how much to brace for it now. Now you're going against Russell, who is arguably the strongest guy in your guys' division in 205. Are you excited to show if the chin is real? I'm excited for that one, bro. I asked for that one. I told him that's what I wanted. So my next matchup, I got Russell. That's exactly what I wanted. He's a big boy. He's the biggest boy in our weight class, so it's gonna be a good one. He could win the match, but the fact that I'm gonna eat all three of his shots, like this is not gonna sit right with him. He doesn't think I can eat it. I know I can, so. You better hope he has a chin, bro. I'm excited to see his reaction when I do. How much headbang have you done as you march now that your neck's lot, so much bro. bigger? Bro, <laughs> that's what it is. Yeah, I'd be at shows left and right, dude, and I run the mosh pit every time. Yo, Static and the children. I don't know if you can see him. Say hi, boys. Hi, boys. No. <laughs> One of my favorite pastimes, aside from hanging out with my family, is I actually I go to a lot of live music shows. We were pretty sure that's where my neck comes from, from a whole lot of headbanging. What's good? Shout out, AJ. What's your Instagram? Static underscore slap. There you go. Oh, and what do you do, it. AJ? I slap fight. He slap yes, fights. Sir, yeah. I live in Adams, Wisconsin. It's, uh, it's, it's a cute, quiet little town. Everybody kind of keeps to themselves, not a whole lot to do. There's like a McDonald's maybe. 
gonna go out, go for a skate. Smooth roads, I got an electric longboard. I ride that around, I got like full uh, pads, helmet and all that. Look how beautiful she is. Mm, mm hmm My fiance, Jessica. Cutest power slap couple, hands down. She's super cool, she's like, she's honestly the best person I've ever met. So sweet and just loving. She's my homeboy's cousin. I don't think either one of us really took it very seriously at the beginning. Didn't see much coming out of it. She had our little boys, Deucalion. He's the oldest curly-headed one. Thank you. And then the second oldest, we have Aiden. And then the little baby baby, he's five months old. That's Zaire. Mm -hmm. He actually just turned five months the day before I came out here. It's really cool to see how things work out in life. My family like literally means the world to me, and like, everything I do is for them. What's good, Slap Nation? Aesthetic. I just got the rest of my merch today. That's the whole reason I'm doing this, trying to set them up for the future. Say hi, America. Hi, America. Next match, AJ Hints versus Russell Rivero. Oh. AJ Blue, Russ Red. It's blue. I strike first. Strike first. I'm scared. Oh, baby. The AJ and Russell match, as far as what goes through my mind with that match, is hopefully Russell keeps the stepping and the pivoting away. I mean, he is a big guy. Uh, as far as the AJ part of it goes, I mean, AJ's got everything down. So. I think AJ's got the win for sure, but I'm just worried that I don't want to see the stepping on the other side. 216. I really think Russell is just gonna charge this kid. I mean, as long as AJ doesn't duck his head and you know he's gonna have to hit him in the temple or whatever. I mean, but I don't think it's gonna be good for AJ if. Russell hits him in the temple at all. Russell is a huge, huge dude, and I don't think AJ has been hit any near as hard as Russell is going to hit him. Two thirteen. AJ is one of the guys that really impressed us during the slap off elimination fights. He absolutely demolished Frank the Tank Holland, who's one of the best heavyweight strikers in the game. We actually think that AJ is a bit small for the heavyweight division. We would actually like to see him move down to light heavyweight at some point. Right now, he's a bit over the limit, but we happen to have another light heavyweight, Russell Rivero, who is hovering around the same 210, 220 range. So I decided this would be a perfect matchup at a catch weight. This is a big opportunity. It's gonna open a lot of doors and hopefully lead to more money and more exposure. I'm really excited to face Russell because uh, I know how it's gonna look. I came in, I fought Frank the Tank, went all three rounds, you know. <laughs> knocked him out on the last slap. And I get into the house and I immediately go down a weight class. It looks like I'm running from the heavyweights, so. To me, the best thing to do is take the biggest guy in that weight class, and that is Russell by far. Just stay wide. It's easy, there's not much to this. Good, keep that up. Put your lights out so every hit that throw, which should just be one. Lift it a little bit, sorry. Right. Work on the heels and bring the power later, because you can bring that power all day. Collect that money and keep my feet stuck to the ground. Better. I'm a real nice, chill, relaxed guy, but uh, when I'm up there, you see a completely different person. One coin toss, so I'm gonna slap him first, see if I can get the one-hit knockout on him. Russell, my guy, don't let me knock you out, dude. You talked all that If you're laying on that ground when we're done, I'm disrespecting you. Hey, yo, if I take this big Oh, you gotta tell Zuckerberg, let me have my Facebook back. <laughs> Deal. You know it. Deal. What the hell did you do to get your Facebook taken away? Everything. Yeah. <laughs> it might be a little tough, then. 
Every show we do, we got to be the heavy hitters. People are going to come to watch guys with power that if this guy hits you, he's going to destroy you, you know? Yeah, AJ, my guy, sorry, he's pretty cool, but got to put you to sleep, homie. Came in for one job, and that's, that's the way. So don't take it personal, but your ass is going out, dog. You want chalk? Or okay. uh, red. red. Go ahead, line up, my friend. Get your chin. Hold the pad. What hand and what count? Right, two. Okay. Blue is going first. Right hand on two. Round one. Measure. One. Flinch. Flinch. Watch, yeah. your shirt. Watch your head move. Leaned into that. All right. Defensive foul. You flinched, all right? Get in here. Yeah, try your Recover. best. Recover. Move your head. Now move your head. What do you want? Yeah. Right two. Okay. Yeah. Right hand two. We good? Mm -hmm. Huh? Were you knocking out their shoes, bro? Right here, look at me, Russell. Monster. He was a bully, bro. Hang out for a second. Just hang out. What the is wrong? I told you I'm not here to play. Stay, stay right here. Just take, take a rest. Hang on, hang on. I even got fans on the. Team. Just relax. Right, just, uh, this, this dude's built like a brick house, man. And, uh, you know, he moved down a weight and knocked him out. That's one of the most vicious knockouts I've seen. You can sleep at the house. Get up. Hey. You're keeping me down here. What you talking about? Let's go. Yeah. Woo! Yo, shout out my fiance, though. Okay, sit down. Good bro. Wow. Now, that is what I call a statement. AJ's got unbelievable power, and if you give that kid a clean hit, he delivers big time. So just like that, he knocks out his second opponent in a row, and he makes everyone know that he is the guy you need to watch out for. <laughs> Winner by knockout in the first round, blue corner. Yeah! Love you, baby! Yes, dude. I knew I was getting that shit. Baby, I love you. I'll see you soon. Boy, what the that was one of my most satisfying victories ever. Dude was so convinced. He, he told me he was going to slap me out of my shoes. He was going to put me down on one hit. And I told him, I was like, bro, don't let me go first. Clean hit, put him straight to sleep. I needed that so I could show everyone I'm the real deal. It ain't for the week out there, bro. And this is when people, they talk <laughs> Come step in there. You can find out real quick, you know what I mean? My boy ain't catch me that, that first on. I'll on try to dip into him. I usually dip, but I guess I had too much. When I dip, he can catch me in my ear. And my ear started ringing. I know for a fact that taking Russell out with one shot scared everybody in my way. On the next episode of Power Slap, Road to the Title. Bitch, I'll beat your ass. Sit your ass down. Yeah. Azael is at it again.
So the fighters decide to take matters into their own hands. Fizzell! Then it's time for three more edge of your seat <laughs> fights. California kid Emmanuel Muniz takes to the stage. I was like, I'm gonna bring you a pillow and a blanket because I'm putting your ass to sleep. Hoping to silence house bad boy Azael Rodriguez. I'm gonna knock the f out of you, dog. Number three ranked middleweight, Romanian Nikolai Soul Coach. And then I put some lights out. Let's go! Faces off against Michigan trash talker Curry Sarcher. I'm here to be the best and you're standing in my way, so get the f down. Then, on the, the big boys go head to head yeah. as the top ranked heavyweight in the house, Ryan King of Kings Phillips. My hand will be raised and I'll be the one. Faces Dwayne, Iron Giant Crespo. You're pretty messed up, you take a shot from me. Who will slap their way to victory? <laughs> one step closer to the first ever power slap title.